All right, in college basketball, the Holy Cross women are going dancing. They are headed to the NCAA tournament as part of the first four. But this isn't their first trip to the big dance. Our own Dan Roach was with the Crusaders as they left Worcester today. For the second straight year, the Crusaders are Patriot League champs, thanks to Sunday's win over BU at a raucous heart center. It's definitely been an unbelievable 48 hours, a nostalgic 48 hours, um, but it's definitely been a great, great time. With an early morning send-off, they boarded a bus for their flight to Iowa to face Tennessee Martin in a play-in game Thursday. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Hoping to avoid last year's one-and-done loss at Maryland. We have 11 of 12, I think, last year returning, so a lot of us did have that, and so I think it's like another level of like calmness. The Crusaders are focused on Thursday, but they're also aware that if they win, next up would be Caitlin Clark in Iowa on national TV Saturday. She's incredible, you know, and I think just to be able to just to watch her, to see how I have young daughters that have watched a little more of, you know, I joke, Charlotte probably has a better scouting report than I'm going to have on her. <laughs> She's the face of college basketball, men's and women's right now. It's, it's huge, and I think as a female basketball player, I just have so much respect for her and what she's done for the sport. When they talk about Caitlin Clark, they talk about a once in a generation type of player. Well, years ago here on the campus of Holy Cross, they had that same type of player. The legendary Houdini of the hardwood, Bob Cousy, who went on to star with the Boston Celtics. When you really sit down and watch her, she's very similar, you know, to Bob Cousy, you know, Pistol Pete, just how she passes the ball. She's so much fun to watch. We're going to Iowa! And here's hoping come Saturday, Holy Cross isn't watching and actually playing against her in Iowa. Dan Roach, WBZ Sports.